Ken Carter jumps cars for a living, and people like to see him do it. They come for the thrill of watching a man risk his life, watching a man fly a car and crash it at 50 miles an hour. Ken Carter's been doing that for 20 years, three times a week. But Ken has a dream. Before he's finally through, Ken Carter wants to amaze the world. Ken's dream starts here, on a street in Montreal. He has put all his money, $30,000, into this car. It's no ordinary car. It's a jet car with 7,500 pounds of thrust. World record auto jumps are measured in feet. 125, 140, even 180 feet. But Ken Carter wants to jump much further. He wants to jump a car a mile. 16 days to go. It's been raining on and off in Morrisburg, and ABC is starting to worry. They send Evil Knievel, the world's most famous daredevil, to check on Ken's progress. This rocket-powered automobile is capable of reaching a speed of 270 miles an hour. Ken is going to start back there some 1,300 feet in that cow pasture, come down this runway, and 900 feet from the top of this ramp, he will reach what we call a point of no return. After 20 years of jumping, Ken is definitely in the big time. The most famous daredevil in the world is talking about him on ABC's Wide World of Sports. The show reaches an audience of 20 million people. The car is brought to Morrisburg for the very last tests. The ramp's supposed to be completely finished, but today, Ken learns that isn't quite true. The surface is slightly bumpy. Kenny Powers' problems started on the ramp. The bumps, which had worried Carter, made the car bounce, cracking the fiberglass body. Powers was thrown around inside the cockpit and he couldn't keep his foot on the pedal. As a result, the car, which was supposed to leave the ramp at 270 miles an hour, was only going 180. There was not enough thrust to make the trip. The wind caught the car, ripping off parts of the cracked bodywork causing the parachutes to deploy ahead of schedule. This was fortunate. They saved Kenny Power's life. This is the end of the greatest daredevil stunt of all time. Everyone is certain of that. Everyone except one man, Ken Carter. This is my dream. This is the end of my dream. I don't care if I never jump again but this I'm going to do.